Look at these bass. Oh, I got them. Got him. Oh my goodness. Look at all those fish. There's a perch. Perch is coming up to eat in a bass. Oh my goodness. It's raining. Welcome back to the episode of Wisconsin Fisherman. My name is Kyle. Today, <laughs> with the rain turning into snow, we're gonna try to do a catch and cook right in the shack. Got the little cooker over here. I got a hole for the aqua view a hole for me to jig and even a hole for like a minnow for like a big pike or something like that. But we're out here, we're just on a shallow, about a five foot flat um, and the fish are coming in and out of here. So I'm gonna get the cameras down, we're gonna fish. We're just jigging today. Like I said, we're gonna have a minnow down. Should be a pretty laid back day of fishing, um, depending on how long this rain holds up for before it turns to snow. Not good, but let's start fishing. Well, I haven't even dropped the camera down yet. So let's go down below water. Let's see what we got for fish. See you later. There's a couple other holes. Holy cow, lots of holes down here. We're dropping down. Oh boy, oh boy, boy, oh boy. Okay, so we got lots of little bluegills. Little crappie. Bluegills. Now this is okay because what we're gonna do is we're gonna work through these fish, we're gonna pick through them, and we're gonna try to catch just the big ones. So, bear with me while we do that. We're gonna have a fish fry. Let's catch some fish. Look at all them fish. Oh my goodness. Obviously they're all like super duper tiny little things. Is that a crappie on the, in the middle there? Oh, it's just a weird shaped looking bluegill. Okay. Wow. Well, now is when I just uh, get to pick through them. So there's a lot of fish down there, but let's work through them and try to catch the big ones. Um, today, I'm going to try to catch pike. I'm going to try to catch some bass. And I'm going to try to catch some crappie to cook up and maybe some big bluegill to cook up too. So let's do it. All right, so I got a couple waxies right here. I'm gonna put them on that spoon. We're gonna start jigging with the jigging spoon. And then um, if we see like a pike or a big bass come in or something, maybe we'll put down the minnow over here on this side. But I just wanna get down there right away. The sun's not even up yet. Let's uh, try to jig some bluegill or something. Ooh, that one was feisty. But the nice thing about the camera is we can pick through them. You know, a lot of these guys, they are super duper tiny. All we got to do is play keep away and just say, hey, get out of here. I don't want to catch you. And we wait till the big ones. Okay, so let's get a minnow down there now while we're just putzing around. Get stuff lined up, ready to go. There's like where the seams come together, the water's just coming in. It's soaked outside. All right, so I got a sucker minnow. This is just a standard like northern sucker. It's a little small, but uh, we're gonna put him on a treble hook. We're gonna dip him in our second hole over there. He's gonna be able to draw in the big fish and maybe we'll even uh, catch the big fish. I'm gonna hook him right through his back right here. Just like that. This reel's got like a bait runner thing on it. So I can put it out and if the fish takes it, it'll just go, like if I don't see it, take it. So that's what I'm gonna put it on so I don't lose a rod down the hole. Just like that, we look at these bluegill. They're like, oh, I'm gonna come eat that. Yeah, like you're gonna eat that thing. I doubt it. So, we're set up, we're fishing. Now we just gotta pick through them. Holy insane. Well, I haven't seen anything of like uh, caliber to keep yet or to eat, but uh, I know that my shack's gonna weigh about 100 pounds more than it usually weighs. big one in the back. What is that? There's something big in the back right. Just under the minnow. Just under the minnow. Getting situated. Is that a bass? Large mouth? I think that's a large mouth. Yep, he just spooked off. Nice fish. That's cool there around still. Okay. 
Whoa, whoa. There's a big bass. Holy smokes. I got him. I got him. Oh. Ah, you guys. <laughs> Look at this bass. <laughs> Look at that bass. It's huge. Oh my goodness. That is a tanker. Well, season's going to end in about a week here, so. You male, female, I don't know. Get down there and make some more big old bass babies. Nice. That was sweet. And all the bluegill are gone. That was wild. He came out of nowhere. That's one of the biggest bass I've caught this season. I mean, obviously I've only, I think I've only caught like two or three bass this season actually. Another one in the background. Grab the wrong rod. Another big bass. Should we catch and cook a bass? I mean, people eat bass, right? Is there a bluegill in my hole right now? I just scooped a bluegill out of my hole. Look at that. It's a little tiny thing. Go back down. Some people say that that uh, means there's no oxygen, which is happening. That's, there's other people out here throwing holes out too. It's raining right now, that'll help penetrate the ice to get some oxygen down there. It's been a rough winter with all the snow we've gotten. There's some crappie. Still looks like a little guy. There's a good sunny. Come on, buddy. Hit it again. Got him. Oh, I missed him. And he got all my waxies. Oh my goodness. Look at all these fish. I tell you what, the moment I have water drip on my neck or down the back of my neck, it's game over. We're gonna go home. Cause this is neat, but not quite a video yet for you so why am i even telling you that if i'm not gonna make a video when that happens i don't know big bass big bass big bass what are you gonna do big bass go for the shiner oh uh, oh two of them three four five <gasps> Holy smokes. This one's gonna eat. Oh, I got him. Oh, I got him, he's huge. Go, oh, get up the hole, up the hole. Oh my gosh, you guys, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Come on, here he is, look at this fish. Oh, he's coming up, he's coming up. Oh my gosh, that's a tank. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Look at that thing. <laughs> Let's get a quick measurement on him. 18, oh, just about 18 and a half inches. What a giant. All right, well, I'm going to let this hog go. Holy smokes. See you later, buddy. Go down. Kicked off. Look at that. There she went. Scared all the fish away. That's a big bass through the ice. There's like five of them that came in. They come looking at the minnow. All the bluegill are gone right now. There ain't a bluegill on the screen. Insane. Super cool. Not uh, 
not what I had planned for today, but uh, I mean, the fish don't know you have plans. Fish do what they want to do. So this is what we're doing. <laughs> Big perch, maybe big. Yeah, no, not really. <laughs> I just got excited we caught a fish. Yeah, he is not big at all. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, perch are definitely eating today. We just need to catch bigger ones. I tell you what, if we catch a bigger perch, I got frying pan, I got grease, I got short lunch. We ready to cook some fish up. We just need some fish to cooperate. I'd like to catch another. I mean, if we can just get on a good bass bite and pick through bass, I'm fine with catching bass. I'm fine with catching nothing because we're fishing. I'd like to see a northern pike. Better like tap my shack just to like stand her back up. Bass, 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 come on. We're catching another bass. Off the hole, just like that. Oh. All right. This is wild. Look at these bass. Another tank. I mean, if I'm fishing in the summertime and you're catching bass like this these are good bass but probably a 16 17 inch I'm gonna let them go see you later buddy oh and they just sneak in you're just hanging out and all of a sudden boom bass on screen bass on screen bass on screen i'm i'm happy to catch bass i guess yep that would have been the one Roll them. He might come back. Yep, he's coming back. There we go. Well, should we do our catch and cook still? Because this one's right on the edge. Actually, he doesn't even have any meat on him. I'm gonna let this guy go. Yeah, he's like, there's like no shoulders. It's like rib cage. Look how narrow he is. No meat on them. Usually this is all full, you know, nice wide shoulders on them. Super skinny fish right here. Tall. See you later, bud. Well, biggest bluegill of the day. <clears throat> here we go. Bass. Something coming in. Well, there's a bass on the right. Come on, let's get this one. Oh my gosh, look how tall it is. That is it, you got it, you guys, this is a giant. Like, you just gotta tell that, that is a huge bass. <gasps> I rolled them around. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're that fine. Way. You're not really fine, you just can't get into it that because they would inches. never understand. Easily, come back, come back. Oh, the mouth on that thing was like, I'm a big old bass. That's exactly what he said to the camera. Oh, he might come back. He might come back. I've been holding my bail because it, if I set the hook, Drake's just gonna pull out. It's just gonna peel. Here we go. This, I don't know if this is the same bass. Definitely big caliber. He's looking at the minnow now. If it eats the minnow, hooray. Hooray! <laughs> Minnow's getting a little spooked by him. He's, he's getting a little agitated, maybe. Okay, he's just give it a kiss. That's the first bite we've had on the minnow. I'm pretty sure that's the bass that I rolled earlier. 
looked like a couple seconds ago. Let's do this. Come see this yummy thing again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Or does he want the minnow? That bad. Let's give the minnow a tap. Spooked him. Dang. Oh, a big bass racing in. Big bass racing in. Look at this. If I didn't have the camera though, I'd tell you what. You'd wonder that there'd be a pike down there. You know, your, your graph just goes clear. You got one big mark. The hardest part about catching a bass is getting the right when they want to eat. They just barely kiss it. That guy is smart. That's a big one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Got him. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's up the hole. Got him. Oh, you guys, look at these bass. Oh my goodness right in the top of the mouth that actually just popped out. What in the world is happening? These fish are huge. Awesome. <laughs> so just like that, another 16 incher guys. All right, see you later, buddy. Awesome. Look at all those fish. There's a perch. Perch is coming up to eat and a bass. Oh my goodness. Perch? I want the bass. We're gonna catch that bass. Hang on. We're catching that bass. Let's do it. Got him. <laughs> this guy's a little littler than the last. I can hold him by the line because he's just a little guy. Boom! Bass number six? Is that our sixth bass today? Holy! See you later, buddy. Woo, we shot right down. Hey, get me right in there. Oh my goodness, so many bluegills. That is the absolute most bluegill I've ever seen on my screen at one point in time. That is insane. She is a little wet out, guys. It's been raining the whole time. I think I've been out here for about three hours, but uh, we're gonna wrap it up. It was wild. I had a plan to try to catch some bluegills but uh they're all just so small that really couldn't keep any to fry up um been using the rattle master the bass have been coming in and chowing this thing down um we could probably catch a bunch of bluegill but um they're just like i said not big enough so a key for today was having the underwater camera if you were to come out here with just a jig and a waxy and put it down you'd catch a pile of little little bluegill and then you'd be like well i'm gonna go home um, so everything I use is in the description of the videos. If you have, if you guys have any questions, leave me a comment. I try to answer all the comments. Um, if you're looking for something or you need advice or just any questions, um, if you guys aren't subscribed, subscribed, I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button cause it does help out the channel. Um, and yeah, we caught some big bass today. Didn't get to do the catch and cook, but what, what else do you do? You just come out and you fish, right? That's, that's what we did today. So. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And like always, see ya next time. It's so hard to leave when there's all those fish down there. But we've been doing it for three hours, so we're leaving. <laughs>